Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, recording has started. Um, I don't know how that's how that keeps coming every time I disable the notifications. They keep coming back off topic. Uh, we have some news regarding the heroes and villains in Battlefront 2. So they're going. There was actually some talk about uh, receiving health cards. So some some heroes and some villains are gonna get them. And some of them for me don't make any sense, like Phasma, but you'll see what I mean. So pretty much this community transmission, I'll leave a link of this in the description. This is going to be a one out of two parts. Uh, I'm doing this, and then here I have the, uh, the uh, roadmap, and I got a bunch of images up top that I'm going to show you guys what, what the stuff is. So pretty much uh, community transmission time, and today we're going to talk about an upcoming change to some of the star cards that are in the game. The overall plan is to replace a selection of hero star cards that have uh, very low usage and replace them with a health star cards. They uh, will be broken up into two types of cards. So the generic health on defeat star card, this type of star card, is for Boba Fett, Han Solo, Lando, Kylo Ren, and Maul. When a hero defeats an enemy, they will regain a small portion of health. And another one is called an ability card. This is for Chewbacca, Yoda, Finn, and Phasma. When using one of these star cards, health will only be rewarded if a specific ability was used to defeat the enemy. So now, they said that they're listening to our feedback and they want to bring in new cards to the game. Uh, to try to make it more fun and engaging way to play. Uh, what's more fun is when you remove explosive shot, the blurg, the officers, and the heroes don't get melted in one second by the SC44C. Now we got some health on defeat star cards. So these cards award health when a hero has one equipped and defeats an enemy. Okay, I don't know who's wording this, but... So for Boba Fett... Uh, we're excited to see what Boba Fett can do in the hands of a skilled player once these changes are all live. We will be modifying this for the hunt ability to reveal enemy players to both Boba Fett and his teammates by default, without the need for a star card. When cha this change would make the information sharing star card redundant and a good candidate to be changed into a health card. So basically, when you activate his uh, middle ability, I'm going to go left. Left is like the left bumper. Middle is both bumpers and right is the right bumper if you're playing on Xbox. So pretty much his main ability, his center ability, is kind of like a radar ping. It reveals targets and you pretty much get unlimited jetpack during that duration. Uh, so that one, it's pretty much that's what it did. And the new one is called uh, Bounty Claimed. Whenever Boba Fett defeats an enemy trooper, he regains 20 health. Whenever he defeats an enemy hero, he regains even more. Personally, I would like to see Boba Fett's EE3 kind of spread a little bit tighter and damage to be a little bit stronger. I would personally have his EE3 stats replaced with the uh, with the Blurg. Because sometimes the Blurg medium range does more damage and is more accurate for some unknown reason than a... Uh, potential 6,000 battle point villain. So I would like to see those two get switched. Uh, Han Solo, we know for our in-game telemetry that Han Solo's head game star card is very rarely used by players. We believe this is because it has a difficult trigger and not much benefit. We know from community feedback that this star card is a good candidate to be reworked into a health card. Uh, old card head game scoring three headshots Three headshot hits in a row without hitting any other body part will reset a part of Han Solo's ability recharge time. Uh, the next one is a good blaster. Whenever Han Solo defeats an enemy trooper, he regains 20 health. Whenever he defeats an enemy hero, he regains even more. Uh, I can see this being kind of kind of cheap, to be honest, since it's so accurate. But I guess he kind of does need it, to be honest. I just expect a lot of campers in the back of the map like me so just a little warning but this is good for Han uh, Lando 
we feel that overheat is not as important for heroes as it is for troopers because all hero weapons cool down very quickly. As a, resu as a result of this, the benefit of Lando's in the zone star card is negligible, making it a great candidate to become a health card. Old card is in the zone. Uh, it does disabled overheat lasts longer when perfectly cooling the X8 Night Sniper Blaster. Uh, next one is called Easy Wins. Whenever Lando defeats an enemy trooper, he gains 20 health. Defeat an enemy hero even more. Kylo Ren. Uh, when we've identified Kylo Ren's Bloodletting Frenzy star card to be the one that will be reworked into a health on defeat card. We know that health does not decrease quickly and this... Uh, Oh, health does decrease quickly, sorry. And this has an effect on hero-based game modes and galactic assault. In hero-based game modes, players rarely survive long enough. Once they reach below 25%, in galactic assault, players would find themselves retreating. So, the Frenzy dealed one is, while Kylo's health is below 25, he will deal bonus damage with his lightsaber attacks. Uh, the new one is called Frenzied. Whenever Kylo Ren defeats an enemy trooper, he regains 20 health defeats an enemy hero he regains more so that's that's pretty cool actually uh darth maul darth maul does not have stamina and because of this uh the frantic strike star card has very little use we know this is a card that does not bring that get excuse me this this is a star card that does get brought up quite often by the community so we feel it's the perfect candidate to be changed into a health on defeat card Old card is Frantic Strikes. Melee Strikes will drain less stamina. Uh, the new card is called Wrathful. Whenever Darth Maul defeats an enemy trooper, he regains 20 health. Whenever he defeats an enemy hero, he gains more. So I'm a little bit confused as why it would kind of be in the game to begin with. If they play tested the game, they created the game, they gave Maul no stamina loss. Uh, so like... Why have a card for le less stamina drain? That one I don't understand. That's DICE's own fault. 11 months into the game's life cycle, they finally change it. What can you do, right? Let's see. Defeat with an ability star card. These star cards reward health when an enemy is defeated by a specific ability. Uh, Chewbacca. Chewbacca's melee attacks are already very powerful, so Chewbacca's Wookiee Berserker card is rarely used because of this. Even more so due to the fact that he can slam the ground. Chewbacca's high health is why he, we decided to connect his health regeneration with defeating an enemy by using a specific ability. The old card is called Wookiee Berserker. Chewbacca's melee attacks are stronger and deal more damage. Uh, the new one is called Groundbreaking. Whenever an enemy trooper is defeated by Charge Slam, Chewbacca regenerates 20 health. If it was a hero, it will be more. Uh, Yoda, Master of the Force, is a star card that is very that is very rarely used since Yoda lo loses the unleashed power buildup very quickly. This card also has a very high difficulty curve, making it one of the least used cards available to Yoda. Since Yoda has a health boost ability, we have made the decision to connect his health regeneration with the ability unleashed, which uh, is super OP. To be honest, it's like the only ability that can wipe out. 70 players at once like it's just it, it needs a nerf in my opinion it i i just don't like it to be honest uh old card master of the force when the unleashed radius is at maximum distance unleashing it will do bonus damage whenever yoda defeats an enemy trooper with the new card called release the force so whenever yoda defeats an enemy trooper using unleash he regains 20 health whenever he defeats an enemy hero it's more so pretty much it's it's just you block, builds up the force push, you use it and it can just obliterate everyone. It's like extreme. I get Yoda is a Jedi Master, he's super powerful, but that force push is it's just insane. Like Maul should do the same thing, or Vader's choke should kill. It shouldn't just be like, oh here's some time and walk around and float up in the air you're okay you still have health it should be insta kill to be honest with, with you so let's see here finn when looking into the star cards for finn we identified the altogether card as one of the most considered weaker than the others and is rarely used by the community finn's health boost ability is the reason why he receives a defeat with ability star card altogether was his old card the radius of an undercover team is increased if two friendlies are affected 
Uh, the new card is called Covert Leader. Uh, whenever Finn defeats an enemy trooper while undercover team is active, he regains 20 health. Whenever he defeats an enemy hero, it's more. And now we're going to get to the most unbelievably stupid decision by DICE for this. Because I, frankly, I, uh, I disagree greatly. I, I hugely disagree with this decision for uh, for Phasma. I hugely disagree with this. We have identified Captain Phasma star card only pawns as the optimal candidate to be replaced. We have found that recharge rates are often difficult to convey towards players and it makes for the perfect choice. The new star card will continue, uh, continue with the staff strikes themes making it much harder, uh, much more beneficial with Galactic Assault as with the other heroes in the category. Captain Phasma's health boost ability is why she receives health regeneration connected to an ability. Now this is insanely stupid to be honest. Star card, only, only pawns. For every enemy Captain Phasma defeats with staff strikes, its recharge rate will be increased for 5 seconds. Uh, the new card is called Beatdown. Whenever Captain Phasma defeats an enemy trooper with her staff strikes, she regains 20 health. Enemy hero, she gets more. Now this in my opinion is extremely stupid as the staff strike doesn't register you need to be extremely close and it's easily like dodgeable and it takes too long like it takes long the animation is super high so i don't know why they did this i would at least have the droid and whenever the droid stuns somebody it's 20 health or 25 health or whatever personally i've never seen people actually get a kill with phasma using her uh, staff strike in Galactic Salt. So I don't know why they made this dumb decision. But what can you do, right? Personally, it's, it's just Phasma. Is, it's going to be my least played, to be honest. Out of everybody on the list, this has got to be my least played. Alright, FAQs. If I already own one of the star cards that are being changed, what will happen? If you already own one of the star cards that are changed, it will automatically change into the new card. If I have leveled up a star card, what will happen if it changes? The star card will retain its level despite changing over to its new version. So if it's epic, it's going to stay epic. Uh, we used in-game telemetry to, which told us which star cards were not being used. We also utilized community feedback. Oh, how did you choose which star cards to modify? Whoops. Kinda. Oh well. Uh, are you going to be making any more changes? Uh, we will be monitoring the game and community feedback once these changes go live. We will continue to tweak and balance through further updates to the game. So I guess with the next roadmap coming out, potentially, uh, let's see here. We're looking at my super awesome calendar. Uh, the next one most likely will be coming out maybe November 1st or so after Halloween or the 2nd. Because uh, according to the roadmap, if we just uh, if we just go here, uh, where's that one? If we go down here, the uh, grievous update is here. Uh, the Halloween event double XP twenty sixth through twenty eighth is above it. So judging by these dates, potentially grievous could be coming on. The 30th or the 31st. So we have about, I would say like 28 days, 27 days or so, till we have everything. But yeah, so we still have some time for that. And I guess after that one, the version 4 of the roadmap, they'll give us more information. But for now, this has been the. Uh, this has been the health kind of information, trooper health, hero health cards, community transmission. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in part two of the uh, roadmap community transmission discussion, where we'll start off with the roadmap, and potentially I will be showing you images and stuff of what I think will happen, what's coming, stuff like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.